down. Take the cuffs off. Where'd you start from? Take them over and book them. I didn't have nothing to do with it. Uh, who did? He said all I had to do was pose as his wife. Nobody ever told me we were carrying dope. I never even seen him before. Don't listen to her. She's a tramp. I wish Pete Ritchie could have heard you say that. Now, let's talk about Pete Ritchie for a minute, huh? So you're a couple of Pete Ritchie's tourists. I say nothing. I got my rights. How about you? Me neither. Well, we've already got enough evidence to hang you. Both of you. Does, um... Does Pete Ritchie ever come up this far north? No. He get the time. He's too busy spending his dough on cheap, loudmouth dames like this. You should be talking. And you shouldn't. I was doing all right for a long time before I met you and those petty larceny friends of yours. Go on, go on, hit me. Put him on ice. Come on. You'll talk at him? If there's enough in it for me, yes. You, uh, know Pete Ritchie? It all depends. Pete Ritchie and me are intimate friends. Uh, where does he get his narcotics? What's his, uh, source? Mostly out of the upholstering of other people's cars. Who are the other people? Richie himself ain't much of a talker. Who are you supposed to meet up here? You don't meet them. They meet you. Well, you're going to be alone for a long time. Try to concentrate. See if you can think of some more answers. Okay, Charlie. That's all. This way, miss. Even if characters like that wanted to talk, they don't know much. I guess we're going to have to start at the top again and work down. We're going to have to try to find the top first. You certainly didn't get anything new from these two. <gasps> How can you say that? Uh, this is Madeline Haley, Bill. She's Los Angeles Police Department. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She had a hand in grabbing our two friends. You know, I've had men, good men, in Mexico for months tailing him, and then dead end. Pete Ritchie can smell an investigator a mile away. Yep, he's learned to be very leery of government men. How about government women? Say, that's a notion. Richie would never expect us to send a woman. I have a note here I made of an important point in this prosecution. Yeah, a very important point. Richie is a sucker for dames. Yes, that's it. Hey, um, what's Jacqueline Kirk doing now? No, uh, she's not good looking enough. See, Molly Dunstetter could be fine, only she got married and quit. What about June Michaels? She's back with the Denver police force. They wouldn't let her go. Now, how about her? Yeah. Oh, Richie goes for tawdry, cheap-looking dames. Well, she could pass. What are we talking about? Narcotics enforcement never uses a woman on things like this. Yeah, I know, but we're sending her to Mexico anyway on an extradition matter. Uh, it's all right with the chief. Well, yeah, it might be an idea. Worth giving a thought to it. She might be able to pick up a few crumbs of information on Richie. Do you think you could handle this? Uh, during the war, she was in the OSS. Speaks a pretty good Mexican. Well, how do you spell your name? H-A-L-E-Y. Wow. 
cuatro cervezas. shouldn't linger that smile detained me for a while all she would grant me was a smile a smile that detained me for a while. Long she stole my heart completely. Yes, as a tiger she would do. And all the men in town were grinning because she stole in their hearts too. It seems she has stolen their hearts too. Beware of eyes like pools of moonlight, of lips much rather than the wine, and of the devil who's an angel that waits across the borderline. <laughs> lips that were rather than a wine This <laughs> waving across the borderline No, don't do that. No, not until I tell you. Yes. Yes, that's right. You do exactly as I tell you, and there'll be no problem. Well, we might be able to make it tonight. Yes. Yes. Cigarillos, por favor. Yes. Gracias. Wait until I contact you, will you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you later. Got a light. Give her a light. Get up to the room in case somebody calls in. Sure, boss, I understand. <laughs> What's the idea? Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Try again. Unless you're afraid you'll get burnt. I've been burnt before. What's your hurry? Well, I got a... Hey, you're not so hot to look at. <laughs> Finish a drink. I want 
Why not one more? One for the road. Together.
Notre Dame. A friend of mine. Get rid of her. She's a friend of mine. Get her out of here. Hey, you. Oh, you're not going to listen to him, are you? Yeah. Beat it. Vamos, scram. Harvey Gumbin sent you. How is Harvey? I've been trying to get in touch with him. Thought we might do a couple of deals. Catch you. Okay, you're tough. What's your angle? Harvey says you got a shipment going on. He says it clears the harbor tonight. Harvey says he wants it. You tell Harvey to... Uh-uh. The only thing I'm going to tell Harvey is what boat the stuff is on. But first, you've got to tell me. He won't talk, Al. How about giving him a little convincer? Some gunpowder on the arm. You light it, and sometimes it splits the skin wide open. Yeah, sounds good. You're trying to scare me, Johnny? Not you, Richie. Your hide's too tough. But I don't think the little lady there'd hold still very long. She doesn't know anything. Who'd tell her? That's right. I mean, who would tell me? I, I don't know. How about you, Duzik? Pete don't tell me anything. He'll tell you that himself. Wrap him up. Tell him, boss. Will you tell him? I don't know a thing. That's right, Duzik. You don't know a thing. <laughs> Why don't you just tell us and save us all this trouble, Richie? You'd sell your life for a couple of stinking bucks, wouldn't you? Maybe you're selling yours, Macklin. It's a tune about the north wind. Gray? Shut it, she painted gray. Yeah. <laughs> How far offshore she anchored? She anchored up the kelp bed. That's right. That's right where she is. Works like truth, Sarah. Don't no think, Uno. Someday you're not going to be so lucky, Macklin. This is Macklin speaking. This is the tuna boat, the North Wind. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, tell him. Harvey says thanks. Anything you'd like to say to Harvey? He says don't mention it, Harvey. <laughs> See you later, partner. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I told you someday you weren't going to be so oh, lucky. No, wait a second, Mr. Ritchie, wait! Mr. Ritchie, wait a second! <laughs> Thanks. 
this, baby. Come on, I want to talk to you. Well, I don't know anything. Come on! I, I... Could you tell me the way out of this place? Sí, señorita. Por esa puerta. with a gun in her hand. Come on in, the boss wants to talk to you. You're a big, brave, strong... Sit down. Slug. What did you mean by hitting me on the chin? He had to slug you, kid, to get you to come along. There's a lot of heat on you. You want a cigarette? How long you been with Richie? The boss asked you how long you been with Richie. Five minutes. What are you giving us? It's true. Give her credit for dummying up. Did you ever make a trip for Richie? What trip? Carrying stuff over the border. You ask me, boss, you'll dump her. I'll make the trip alone. I don't want you to go alone, Johnny. I want you to make the trip with a dame. You know, man and wife, make it look respectable. I'll get you one of them tourist passes. Okay, just make sure it's a dame that'll stay in line. All dames will stay in line as long as the payoff is big enough at the end. You'll be ready to leave at daylight, both of you. With her? She hasn't said a word. Go ahead, say something for my friend. How much is the payoff? See, she knows what to say. Hey, Miguel. Andy. Go up to the hotel, pay the lady's bill, and get her clothes. What's your name? Gladys LaRue. Como? Gladys LaRue. Gladys LaRue. Sí, señor. Buenos días, Apacho. Buenos días. Make sure you get there Friday noon at the zoo in Los Angeles. Right. The only thing you haven't told me is who I'm supposed to meet in Los Angeles. You'll find out when you get there. A noon in front of the monkey cages. Have you got that? Got it. Here, get in the car. Got it. Come on, Miguel, let's go. Sí, señor, voy pronto. Miguel! You take good care of Mr. and Mrs. Johnny Macklin. You see if they get across that border safely. Sí, señor.
Es el mejor hotel. Casa hermosa. Tiene cuartos con baño y agua caliente. What town is this? Hidalgo. We'll sleep here tonight. Come on, move on. Oh, wait a minute. You know what that is? Sure. We'll put it on. It goes with the tourist pass. Come on, put it on. It's part of the job. Congratulations. Hey, muchacho. Have you got a vacant room? Oh, si, senor. The old vacancy. Oh, you're welcome to the Casa Hermosa. We always try to treat the best we know how to treat the Americanos. Give me a room in the front overlooking the road. Oh, si, senor. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, huh? This way, senor. Por aquí. Venga. Oh, Carlos, I'll go back. My driver will bring the bags up. Ah, muy bien, señor Pat. Looking for somebody? No. Only the police, the Mexican federal men, Uncle Sam, several assorted hijackers, and Pete Richard. Don't you think we should have taken two rooms? Why? Uh, might be safer. Safer from what? Let's get this straight right now. I'm not going to stand Relax. for any... How do you expect to enjoy your honeymoon if you don't relax? I just want it understood that this arrangement is strictly for convenience. That's right. We're strictly on our own. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't you make a sweet music? Who do you have to know around here to get something to eat? Bien? Los felices! Pase. Ponde los pongo, papi. Ahí, la silla. Muy bien. Ojalá que estén contentos, señor. Lo mejor que pueda para todos los americanos. Muchas gracias. Now you know why Miguel never checks his hat. We oui, eat, patron. See, si, amigo. Let's go. Lock up. Oh, shut up.
Bueno, Juanito, acabo de comprar todo para la comida. Sachicha, queso, jamón, de todo. ¿Qué es para yourself? Sí, esto y esto. Ajá. Telegrama for your sweetheart. No, no, for my mother. Her birthday. Muchos días de estos, eh, Juanito. Miguel. Dígame. We better stay close to the car tonight. We may be leaving here in a hurry. ¿Comprende? Sí, señor. 12 pesos, señor. Gracias. Un momentito, su recibo. No me importa. Come on, open up, it's me. Wedding feast. Don't talk to any strangers. I don't know any strangers. You're reading. Sounds good. You know what people do when they're hungry, don't you? Eat? Help yourself. What's your name? Your real name, I mean. What possible difference could that make? Oh, you sound like you're from Kansas or Missouri or someplace. 
Where are you from? Oh, here and there. It's my favorite place. Mine, too. Gonna turn the lights on. Uh, I was just gonna turn them out myself. You gonna do shoot them out? Out the window, I'll pass the stuff to you. Come on, get going. Where are they, Pepe? Where are they? This way. Not this. What are you doing? I can't go out with this goo on my face. Are you off your nut? Come on. Can you come? If Miguel doesn't get back before Richie does, you'll find out. Is Miguel trying to lose him? Is that it? That's the general idea. But if he doesn't? Then we're in what is usually known as a lot of trouble. Get back. Buenas tardes, señor y señora Macklin. <laughs> I'm trying to make up my mind. Have you got a touch of class or not? When you make up your mind, let me know. You must have traveled with better company than Richie sometime or other. What do you know about better company? Kept my eyes open in two countries. I learned things that way. That's what I figured. I figured maybe we could pool our information. Like what? Oh, like um, who Harvey Gumbin is tied up with, where he gets his stuff, who he delivers it to. I forgot to tell you. I can also keep my mouth shut in two languages. Look out! <laughs> Oiga, amigo. 
Se está bloqueando el camino. Vamos, pronto. Here, yeah, rápido. He picked a fine time to get stuck. That's truer than you think. She's a bright girl, Macklin. Too bad she wasn't bright enough to stay away from you. That'll be asking an awful lot of a girl. I hope you haven't got a good reason to live. Offhand, I can think of at least three. I told you, you wouldn't always be so lucky, Macklin. Look, Richie, maybe we can make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Nobody can say I didn't leave him laughing. Get us, hombre! ¿Qué es esto? Auxilio! Se está quemando! ¡Agarrero! I run out of gas. Got a cigarette? Don't ever lose that gadget, baby. Trying to pick up a cop. Catching up with his past. Why are you stopping? You ever try to lose one of these Mexican motorcycle gotchas? Can't be done. We've got a sick man in the car, officer. We've got to get him to a doctor quick. Un medico pronto. Sígame. Okay. Sígame. And Mr. Gumbin said you weren't so smart. He's right. If I was, I would have gone to work in my father's broom factory like my mother wanted. Americanos que hoy ya están. Trae acá. Tú corre live, amigo. ¿No ha visto los americanos pasar por aquí? Por allá se fueron. ¡Alto! ¡Alto! ¡Párese! 
I uh, guess I lost you. Please, officer, this man's very sick. El vuele el estomaco. Lo encontramos en el camino. Un médico. Bueno, sígame, pero esta vez no se pierda. Sí. Yo quiero más cerveza. Este hombre no está enfermo, está borracho. ¿Borracho? Sí, sí. ¡Oh, me gusta el enfermo! ¡Vámonos, vámonos! ¡Váyase! Creí que estaba enfermo. Su permiso, turista, señor. Ah, sí. Ah, señor y señora John McLean. McLean. Eh, sí, andamos sin luna de ciel. Oh, recién casado. Oh, qué linda esta güerita. <risa> Felicidades. Felicidades. Gracias. Feliz luna de ciel. Gracias. Adiós. 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 Hasta luego. Hoy oh, el amor es lindo aquí oh, en todas Dios. partes. The moon's over as soon as they find Miguel's body. We've got to ditch this car. Okay, you ready? Am I ready? Come on, give me a hand. I can't do it by myself. There she goes. Well, that does it. Let's go. Airport, 10 kilometers. Come on. Uh, how many miles in a kilometer? You mean how many kilometers in a mile? But yes. 10 kilometers, about six or seven miles. Sure, happy I'm with a smart fellow like you. Seven miles. Oh, quit beeping. It can't be more than five and a half now. Five and a half? Why didn't you ditch the car closer to the airport? All right. Let's go over here and sit down. Something's got to come along this road sometime. Maybe we can hitch a ride. Mm-hmm. With Pete Ritchie. It's a great way to make a living. You picked it. I know what I'm doing. Do you? Making a living? <sighs> You're not tired, are you? Oh, no. How long have you been kicking around this racket? Let's see, it started when I was in kindergarten. I sold the stuff to my little pal. How'd you get mixed up with Harvey Gumbin? Well, that goes back a long way, too. They put me in reform school when I was four. Threw me in with a lot of hardened criminals of seven or eight. I learned plenty, but they couldn't hold me. I broke out when I was five. I met Gumbin and I've been with him ever since. Here comes a bus, grab your stuff. after kindergarten? Well, uh, when I was in my teens, I was sent up. But I broke out within a month, and then I, I met Rocky. Who was Rocky? The only man I ever kissed. I felt so sorry seeing him lying there on the cold cement, mortally wounded. What happened to him? I shot him. I made sure that he'd never kiss another girl. Does um, that answer your question? Here comes Ryan. Buenos dias. Donde van? Al aeropuerto. 
Uh, El Camion knows no say for all. <laughs> Do you speak English? Sure, why? I do not understand your Spanish very well, senor. Oh. We're trying to get to the airport. Yes, the bus wouldn't stop for us. Ah, that Tomas, always in a hurry. Go no place. Get in. Ah, that is. Oh, I'll sit here. Can we go now? See. Si. I mean, yes. For three years, I was school teacher, also inspector of water supply. I have now 14 acres of land and 12 children. 12 children, huh? Mm, almost one to an acre. That's very interesting. But is there an airline that goes up to the border? No. Uh -uh. But don't worry, I will fix it for you. I am un hombre muy importante. I have friends. Little Pablo is a piloto. Does he have his own plane? Un pequeño. Uh, that means a little plane. <laughs> have you got money? Si, un poco. That oh. means little money. Ah, <laughs> bueno, bueno. What is this, a detour? Oh, one more thing, senor. I have telephone. I will call little Paolo at the aeropuerto, huh? Oh, thanks. I'll be right back. I hope the airport isn't being watched. We have no choice. That's right, it's a chance we'll have to take. My father, he say, make you welcome. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. to me. <gasps> what am I going to do with this woman? She has no conception of mother's sign. Tell me, Yo oigo mejor. Hola. Hola. <laughs> My wife. Hola. Every day she had big wash. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. Look. <laughs> pretty full wash line. <laughs> no, senor, it's not wash line. Telephone wire. Pablito, a Ensenada. Le vamos a pagar setenta y cinco dólares. Oh, gracias. He'll do it. He'll fly us to Ensenada for seventy-five dollars. Good. I will drive you, huh? Fine. Uh, what's that? Oh, that. Oh, one more thing, señor. I am also alguacil mayor. Well, that means uh, sheriff, huh? Sí. Yo soy un hombre muy importante, ¿no? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for everything. Oh, it's all right. Oh, excuse me. Hola. Hola. Hey, help me, Avala. Where do you eat my heart? How can anyone get through 20 pesos without underwear? I want to fix that up. Be right back, huh? Hola. ¿Me está usted oyendo, señora? Hágame el favor de avisarle a Portillo que se vaya inmediatamente al aeropuerto. Hola. Prefiero yo estar arreglando el alambre. Pronto, mujer, que necesito el teléfono, hombre. Y que vigile a dos asesinos que son muy peligrosos. Sí. Yo se lo diré. Adios. Well, did you give the message? There are two criminals at large suspected of murder. 
No. You're to go to the airport immediately to see that they don't escape. See, si, of course. But who am I looking for? I must call back the police. I, uh, I have the description. Oh? There's a man and a woman. The man is tall, handsome, extremely well-dressed, dark wavy hair, very charming manner. See? Si? And the woman is uh, very short, dumpy looking, nose like a tomato, long stringy hair, uh, a glass eye, green. See, si. they will not get back for video. We have to hurry. We have to go to the Ido Puerto, huh? Adios. Adios, simpatico. Adios, senorita. But what are you waiting for? <laughs> this is it. Soon, little Pablo. In a jiffy, senor. What gives with the sheriff? Oh, he's still sniffing around the entrance for a short, fat woman with stringy hair. No offense. What's little Pablo doing? Trying to stretch our luck? We'll be in bad shape if the police do any checking with our friend. They don't hang the washing on the telephone wires around here. We can leave any time. Let's go, baby. Ensenada next stop, and then across the border. Yeah, the border. Oh, the bird will ride with me, senor. What video say you must come home soon to your job, no, senor? Yes. What video say you are very much loved birds, huh? Yes. How long are you married? Five three weeks. weeks. Five weeks, three weeks. People who are not long time married should tell each other more information. We're working on it. Are we, honey? ate last night. Hmm. No gas. No gas? No, no gas in one tank. I switch over to other one. Why don't you switch tanks? Mm, nothing happens. Great. What do we do now? I make a landing on the beach. You can't land on the beach, can you? Isn't the sand too soft? Can't be too soft for me. Down to five? See, si, senor, that I can do, but why? We're going to need to stand hard for the takeoff. You mean we gotta wait till the tide goes out tonight? 
No, 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 not tonight, too dark, tomorrow. Tomorrow? What are we gonna do about food? This is a problem. All I have is but one paquete of comfort chewing. What flavor? You might as well sit down and take it easy. That operation's gonna take a little while, you know? Ham and eggs and hot biscuits in the morning. And coffee, gallons of it. Are you feeling all right? Well, it's not. It's just around the next bend. Do they have bathtubs in Ensenada? For tourists. What would you call us? Want me to tell you? No, I'll tell you. We're a couple of idiots. Yeah. 90,000 cops after us. I say nothing but my friends coming up from the south. We were living on fish. Who made the bed? You know, I might not be a very smart guy. But sometimes I get the feeling that you're not telling me everything. You know, I get the same feeling about you. You never learned a trick like that in jail. I picked that up when I was on the lam. Barbecuing the bloodhounds they sent after me. A couple of days ago, I'd have believed that. Why not tonight? I don't know. I thought you were an awfully tough guy, but... No, I don't. I thought a couple of things about you. No, I don't. Bags in the bedroom, senor. No, you can just put them down there. Gracias, senor Jackson. I'm now senora Jackson. Hmm? I got more names in the phone book. I must be loco. That makes two of us. for 125 pesos a day. How long are we staying? We cross the border tomorrow. Have you a plan? There's Gumbin's plan. The top of the music box is inlaid with gold. So they slap a duty tax on us. We object, they insist, we give in. Slide of hand, see? What about the bird cage? That's not made of gold. No, but it's against the law to transport birds across the border. So we argue back and forth. We take the cage and give them the bird. They insist, you object. Not me. I never object. We have to go tomorrow. Yeah. You get cleaned up. I'll meet you down at the bar.
Inspector Chatterfield's. And uh, a couple of Panatolis clear out. Can G-men spend all your time? I'd like to if some of you gringos didn't keep us jumping all the time. Pete Ritchie's following me. I know he is. I was just tipped that he's in town. In town? That's good. I'm trying to coax him across the border. What about uh, Harvey Goombe? We can get ready to pick him up. I think we know all we need to know about our friend Harvey. Good. Uh, who's that girl with you? She's been working for Ritchie. We're carrying a load up to Los Angeles for Gumpin. Are you? I'm going to turn her in at the border. I to turn you in. You know it's illegal even for an Osta law to smuggle narcotics? I know. Get some sugar or milk and switch it with the stuff we're carrying. You want a key to my room? I've got a key to your room. place a call to the United States Customs Bureau at the border. Hello? Yes. Yes, put him through. Mr. Peterson. It's for you, McAvoy, calling from Ensenada. Peterson speaking. Yes. I'll establish liaison with the Narcotics Enforcement and the Los Angeles Police. What do you want us to do with the girl? Pick her up and keep her there. I'll go up to Los Angeles alone. Yeah. Amigo. You clean up good. Thank you. Let's sit off the table. I uh, ordered a daiquiri for you, all right? How did you know? It's a nice dress. I mean, you make it look nice. Disguise. You might come in handy. Frostbitten with a short straw. I'll be careful. I didn't know you were musical. You ought to hear me with a martini. You're full of surprises. Yeah. That's me. Where are you going? We're going to dig up a car. We're checking out. Right now, but I thought. Richie's in town. We're starting for the border. Oh. You stay here till I get back. Macklin. I wouldn't try that, Johnny. Just keep walking. Where to? Try the elevator first. Enjoying your stay in Ensenada, senor? It's delightful. All right, open it. 
I'll get it. You're under arrest, Richie. <laughs> a very funny fellow. Talks like he fell out of a tree. Yeah, now he's playing like he's a cop. Come on, get your hands up. Get him up, pronto. He's got another one in his sling. He is a cop. That's what it says on his badge. I had a dozen chances to kill you. you dirty double-crossing cop. Is your gun? Yeah. Take him down the back way. Nothing could make me happier. Come on, let's go. Oh, amigo. On behalf of Uncle Sam and yours truly, mil gracias. On behalf of the Mexican government in Baja California, don't mention it. I bought these for you, in case you have to walk home. Thanks. Oh, oh no. I figured you were a size four, but I thought fives would be more comfortable, so I, uh, I got sixes. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Well. Senora, Flores. For the lady? Gracias, senor. For the lady. And the lady will press it in her girl graduate book and keep it forever and ever. She'll keep it till we hit the border. They take flowers away from you, too? So enjoy it for ten minutes. Ten minutes. We're going to lose a lot of things ten minutes from now. Where were you born? Missouri. And you? Missouri. Anything to declare? Not much. A few things. I'll park your car over there and take your declarable things to the office. Have a nice trip north? Uneventful. Very, very pleasant. Man and wife? Yes. And then you only have to make out one form. I'll do it. Just fill in what you brought in from Mexico. If you were there over 24 hours, you're allowed $100 each. Then just sign it right there. Mrs. Macklin, can I talk to you a minute? Yes, yeah, sure. Just this way, please. You're under arrest. What? You're under arrest. I'm under arrest? Yes. Oh, no, 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 you're all mixed up. My name is Haley. The Los Angeles Police Department has a file on me, and so has Narcotics Enforcement. I'm sure they have. Hmm? Sorry, baby. I suggest you cooperate with the authorities. Things will go a lot easier for you. 
You suggest that I cooperate. The charge is possession of narcotics and attempted smuggling. Well, you're not going to believe him. I certainly am. He's a fellow officer. Fellow You're a copper? That's right. Customs Bureau. Well, Mr. Tough Guy, throwing your weight around, slapping down mugs, buying me flowers. Oh, what an act. Have you got a badge? I've got one. Oh, you were going to turn me in all the time. Well, you certainly had me fooled. My job isn't always easy. Some things are more rugged than slapping down mugs. Keep talking, copper. You're killing me. Hello, Pearson. Mr. Whitaker. So you must be McAvoy. I'm Whitaker. I know. How are you, sir? Well, let's get down to business. So you don't mind if I use your desk, do you, Peterson? Go right ahead. Well, what's with Gumbo? Hello, Haley. Mr. Whitaker, I have something to tell you. Yeah, well, tell me later. Now, look, McAvoy. Just a minute, sir. Uh, you know her? Well, certainly. McAvoy, if there's go... Say, what are you doing here? I'm under arrest, sir. You... You, you what? What for? Smuggling narcotics. What? Will you please explain, Miss Haley? Yes, I'd love to. You see... Well, what about Richie? She knows plenty about Richie. What do you know about what she knows about Richie? I'm the one who picked her up and had her arrested. Richie was picked up in Ensenada by the Mexican officials. Well, just a second. Well, it's very simple. You see, I brought this man up to the border to have him arrested. That's not true. I brought her. What do you mean, you brought me? You mean you were working on her? Of course. She was a confederate of Richie's. I figured we'd get some important information out of her. And you were working on him? Why, certainly. I didn't know who he was when I went to Mexico on the Ritchie case. And Wait then... a minute. Let me get this straight. Just who is this girl? Well, this is Madeline Haley of the Los Angeles Police Department. Imagine that. Well, that explains a lot of things. It certainly does. You're a very clever operator, Mr. Uh, whatever your name is. Thank you. You're pretty slick yourself, Miss Haley. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Well, never mind the compliments. What about Gumbin? We meet the Gumbin connection at the zoo in Los Angeles tomorrow. Mr. Whitaker, I'd like to be taken off this case. Don't be silly. Tomorrow what time? At noon. And then? If things break right, we might be able to wrap up the top men in the Gumbin syndicate. That's great, my boy. I'm Boyer. quitting, Mr. Whitaker. Quitting nonsense. You've shown yourself admirably equipped for this assignment. Isn't that right, McAvoy? She has excellent equipment and doesn't hesitate to use it. Now, you two work very well together. Now, you go on up to the zoo tomorrow as planned. We'll get together and figure exactly what you're to do from there on. Clear? Yes, sir. Mr. Whitaker, I just An can't... order is an order. Have you got the time? What'd you say? I asked if you had the time. Oh, yes, sir. It's one minute of the hour. Uh, not many folks here today. We came though you can't keep them away. You know, the like lions are hungry. Be... Oh, they're always hungry. Eat like horses. I feed them horse meat and they eat like horses. And... <laughs> that is such a good one, ain't it? Uh, Well, you both look surprised. I guess you didn't expect to find me here. I expect whoever I meet. As long as there's a payoff at the end of the line, huh? That's right. You both will be paid. I'm not worried, Harvey. As long as I know you're running both ends. See, amigo. I own the syndicate in California just as I do in Mexico. You'll learn someday, Johnny, you can't trust anybody. I know. I found that out. Did you get the stuff across the border okay? Yeah. Oh, they looked innocent enough. Except I saw them at the border looking just as innocent. Well, then you get to my place as quick as you can. Six to eight Palm Drive. Big colonial house at the end of the road. Come on.
Come in, Macklin. Hello, Harvey. Sorry I couldn't get in sooner. Macklin, boys. Oh, heard you had a little trouble this afternoon. Yeah. Get the rest of the stuff out of the vault, Ernie. All of it? All of it. We're moving it out to our connections tonight. Boys got 60 seconds to get out of there. Hope he makes good use of them. You'll leave for Chicago in the morning. You'll contact Anderson as soon as you get there. Okay. Look, Harvey, before you get into this, my deal was to deliver the stuff. Just give me my cut and I'll get out of here. You'll get it, Johnny. You'll get it. So hurry. No hurry. You go to San Francisco. What about Milgram? I'm scratching him off the list. Lousy pay. What do you have to drink, Macklin? Well, if we got to hang around here, I'd like to make myself a sandwich. Where's the kitchen? Sandwiches are at the barn. How about coffee? I'll make you a cup. Well, never mind, I'll make it myself. Kitchen's down the hall, first door to the right. Anybody else want coffee? Nah. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I'll open it for you. He's in my coat. Just a moment. Attention. Attention. This is a police raid. You are all under arrest. Come out the front door with your hands up. Do you hear me? Gumbin, Macklin, Cleaver, Henning, Leverage. Give me a hand. They're not going to get me or the evidence. That's right, Harvey. We'll get rid of this stuff. There's a sink behind the bar. We'll dump it in there. Not a chance, Gumbin. Nobody's flushing my profits down the drain. What are you doing? I'm going through with this stuff. You must be nuts. Cops run all over the junk. You'll get killed. You'll get us all killed. I'm with you, Macklin. Let's try <laughs>